Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Activities for People Living at Home with Dementia. We are proud to offer this series with funding from the Area Agency on Aging and the United Way of Tarrant County. Some of these are recorded and some of these are made available for viewing through a YouTube channel for future use. I am Martha Brown, your host for today's activities. Today, we are presenting Fit Wits with Emily Corbin. Emily always has something to make you think. Emily, I can't wait to see what you brought us today. Take it away. Thank you. Thank you, Martha. We've got hat day again. <laughs> Very <laughs> fun to wear our hats and let me get my personality. Let me get my fascinator on. <laughs> oh, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. <laughs> okay, well, let me get my sh my screen sharing here. And we will get moving into some fit with fun. Uh, uh, give me a second to move it to the right spot. Take your time. You're so, worth it. Well, thank you, my dear. Great. It's a tiny bit slow when I'm sharing lots of graphics, um, but I did get my software working again. Yay! Oh, good. I'm glad. Oh, right. I think that ought to do it. Ooh. How'd we do? <coughs> yeah. How'd we do? We Let's fit with that. in space. Okay. Fit with. Yay. <laughs> fit with in space. Okay. So anybody got a guess what we might uh, focus on just a little bit besides hats? <laughs> um, um, uh, space travel? Maybe the new telescope. You guys are pretty warm. I think I think you're you're on it. What's the name of that thing? Uh, Webster. Thank you, James. Is that, I'm not sure. Is that the name? Alexa, what's it the is, name of the new telescope in the sky? <laughs> According to Wikipedia.org, the James Webb Space Telescope JWST will replace the Hubble Space Telescope. James Webb. It took two of us, but we got hey, it. Um, on. And there you have it. Am I a little early? <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. No, because um, I don't think I made a slide that says the name of the telescope on it, but I made some links. Um, I, I started an email for you guys. So that you have to remind me before we finish. We've got 26 minutes before we finish. Uh, uh, remind me. To to my or my subject email, not subject recipient. Thank you. Okay. Um, anybody feel like it's a little warm today? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it's perfect. I thought, <laughs> it's perfect. It's, it's perfect inside my house. That's the right attitude, Paulette. <laughs> it's yeah. It's yeah. perfect for a desert. That. Yes, it is. You know, the way I look at it, every day is a gift, and you better enjoy it. Yep. You know what? That is 100% the right attitude. Yep. Yes. Um, yeah, I look at it. Even if it is a hot gift, right? Yeah, exactly. Is a, we're bringing a yeah, hot gift. The good news is that we're not living in Las Vegas where it's 113 degrees. Oh, yeah. No, we don't want to do that. But it's a dry heat. It's a dry heat. Yes. A dry, a dry heat. heat. Yes, Thanks. of course. Somebody had to go there, Phil. <laughs> but certainly. You know, I've, you know, we've got the 25% humidity right now, which it doesn't sound like very much, but when it is this hot, that 25% makes a huge difference. Yes, it does. It does. Um, so whenever we have that kind of heat, I just want to remind everybody we've got and heat advisory and really the most important thing we could put on our 
little post-it note of reminders to ourselves is to stay hydrated and mm -hmm. um, don't go outside if you don't have to. <laughs> mm -hmm. So far, I've avoided it. Okay, on this day in history, anybody recognize this? That's from an <laughs> album <laughs> cover. Ah. An album Stones, cover. right? It really is. That's correct. On this day in history, so anybody want to gander to what might have happened having to do with this um, this particular group? What group was it, Don? I think it's the Rolling Stones. Oh, okay. But no, yeah, I do not know. Sure in 1962, um, I was yeah, only okay. I was only uh, four, so I don't really remember. <laughs> A wee lad, a wee lad, right? Yes, right. But they've been making music your whole life. So. Was it the year the Beatles came to the United States? No. So no. it's the year no. that oh. the Stones played their first concert. Oh. And it was on this day in history in 1962. Did I put 1967 in the previous one? Okay, good. Just making sure. I don't know why I thought I had typed it in wrong. <laughs> it's possible. I need you guys to be on top of that. Martha, yes. Martha's the witch today. <laughs> yes, she is. She's the got good really witch. tall hat there. It really is. It's quite, does it have shiny, um, what's going on there? It's got something shiny, like stars or? Spiderwebs. Spider webs. Oh, spider webs. Metallic I don't know. Yeah, my little scary. dollar store hat. Huh? That's a dollar <laughs> store hat. <laughs> it's worth every penny, Martha. Isn't it? Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm playing with you. First, oh yeah. Uh, they played their first concert in London at the Marquee Club, and um, look, look at these little babies. So look at them there. Yeah. And then look at him there. <laughs> Keith Richards. Look at him there. Right. And the thing is, um, you know, these guys look pretty good for some old rockers. And, and I know that their drummer has since passed away. Yeah. Phil Liggett. Is that right? Does that sound right to anybody? Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Good, good morning, Nancy. Coming on. Good. He did oh, pass away, Nancy and you would, I mean, Keith Richards is, oh, Nancy, you got Nancy a Nancy has her hat. Yes. Okay, y'all know you're starting a tradition, right? <laughs> or maybe I already started it. This is right. You did it, Emily. <laughs> I love it. So we're That's supposed fantastic. to be wearing, hey, we're supposed to be wearing hats now when we get together. I guess so, Paulette. I guess I so. Mean, and I was a trendsetter. I don't have a hat on, Philip <laughs> does, but I don't. Well, you're a queen. You well, don't ask need him one. if you can borrow one. <laughs> you know what? For the most part, I don't wear hats very much because it's I don't. Know, my head is a very small head, and it just seems like the hat just makes it look too big. I don't know. I don't know. It I overpowers you. I, I just don't really wear hats very much at all. Mm -mm. Well, Phil will have to let you borrow one for next time, just for fun, you know. Okay, okay, fun. next time. <laughs> so what you think if you want. Fun, What's I my... can't get no satisfaction. <laughs> oh. yeah. Yeah. Was that it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's... Well, we know Phil's favorite. Does yeah. anybody else um, have a favorite? I, I can't remember the name of the song, but it's, it starts out, I was born in a hurricane or something like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that Born from a Witch? Flash? Um, I don't know. Oh, hang on. Let's look at it. Yes, it might be. It might be. His greatest hits. Yeah. Is it? Okay. So anybody recognize any of these song titles that I'm scrolling oh, yeah. through? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Honky Tonk Women. Honky Tonk. So I had forgotten. They have so much music. I had forgotten oh, yeah. more songs than I could remember. Brown Sugar. Um, 
but I think probably Wild Horses is one of my favorite. And also, She's a Rainbow. That's one of my favorites. She's a is a great song. There it is. She's a rainbow. Um, well, you'll have to let me know, Don, if that is, or right. if it's a, or if it's a different song. Uh, let's let's get back to our. There we go. Okay. So, it's it's interesting how much of our the music that we listen to has been influenced by them, even if you were not a a fan of theirs, right? And it, that is so the case with a lot of musicians. Uh, Elvis is a great example of somebody who, right, maybe not for everybody, but wow, did he influence um, modern day music. And uh, one of my yoga students the other day told me that they saw the, the biopic uh, about him and that it was actually quite good. So. I'm going to have to check that out. So also on this day in history, I'm not going to tell you the year. I'm going to ask you guys to help me fill in the blanks. So just, if you can get all the blanks, then you win this hat. And if you get one of the blanks, I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know. I'm going to be excited. I'm going to tell you how awesome you okay. are. Well, I think I don't know what the what the day the year was, but I think that's uh, um, Alexander Hamilton after cool. being killed in a duel the previous day by oh, John's, it was Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr, Aaron Burr, yeah. Uh, Secretary of that's right. Uh, and he he was something in vice president. Aaron Burr was the vice president, yep, and yep. Um, it was 1804, <clears throat> on this day in 1804. Well, I'm really glad I don't have to give up my hat, because I really like this one, um, <laughs> but, but you guys, you were almost there. Yes, 1804, and um, I left out that he was shot, because I thought it was funny that they described it as a duel. Um, and so I, I left it blank, but yeah, I guess it was obvious yeah. that it wasn't a sword yeah. fight. I challenge yeah. you to a duel, right? Yeah. To get high noon kind of deal. <laughs> well, the next and he was actually pistol, shot yeah. the previous day and, and died on this day. Say yeah. that again, Don. Yeah. Well, the, 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 the thing says, after being shot in a pistol duel the previous day, so it's kind of, main, yeah. It's probably, yeah, it was pistols. Yeah, I took out the word pistol before because I just Oh, you did. It. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. See what they say. I did because I thought, well, that, you know, it could give you a, a hint about the, the yeah. timing. So I, I was just making it harder because I didn't want to give up my hat. Uh, uh oh, blank page. That means we can be yeah, creative. I, <laughs> Right. I ran into a little problem with my, um, I couldn't move the text box here for some reason. Not sure what was going on at this page, but it just wants to be purple. And uh, the picture wants to be behind the text and, and so be it. Um, so another interesting birth on this day. Um, and I don't know if you can read that. Chilean poet, diplomat, and politician Pablo Neruda um, and I have a link to um, several of his poems and a bio in the email that I'm going to send you guys. And um, he, he had some really beautiful poetry. He had some funny poetry, um, some very romantic poetry. Um, I bet he was quite an interesting guy to know and yeah the winner of the nobel prize for literature in 71. um another really creative type born this day um was the painter mostly known for portraits so i'm going to bring up um i've got a screen open with some of his work Madriani, where are you you. There. Oh, Modigliani, I mean. OK. 
can be okay. with another artist. Cool. Yeah, there may be cover your eyes if you have if you have sensitive uh, sensitivities because there may be some nudes. He he definitely his share of nudes. Um, but but he had a very recognizable style yeah. that um, once you once you are familiar with his work, um, you'll either recognize it as his or um, recognize it as when kind of copying style. Um, and so, he was one of my dad's favorites. So he that was, was uh, yeah, I've, I've seen some of this before. His, uh, his, his drawing mm -hmm. style was long necks and narrow faces, um, basically. Yeah. Yeah, here's a couple of the, yeah, we'll just scroll back up past those. But there are, <laughs> um, this I'm is a PG rating. I'm too modest to look at those. Um, but yeah, a lot of portraits uh, of just faces and then some nudes as well. And, you know, I'm sure he contributed to a, a stereotype of the women of the time, just like many artists have. Um, but his work is quite interesting, the way the faces are so angular um, and the necks are quite long. Italian, so Italian painter. This is a, yeah, Italian. I wonder if this is a self-portrait. This is a photo on, on Britannica. And I wonder if that was a self-portrait. But I'm going to move us on. Now, oopsie. I'm here. Bill, I was hoping you would be here today because I just knew would, you would know this one. <laughs> um, there's no question that the answer is here right in front of us, but um, well, that's the pretty. Medal of Honor. Um, I was really proud of the was president created. for doing it. Yeah, so it, that, the award, the, the Army, Medal of Honor was, today was the first day in history that, um, that that was a thing, right? And I think just a year prior in 1861 is when the Naval um, Medal of Honor was first um, awarded, yeah. yeah, and was sort of created. What do you call that when you create an award? <laughs> I think um, designed. Designed. Say that again, Don. Designed. Yeah, maybe. Um, and they do have distinctly different designs. Um, I'm trying to like, you know, when you have a commission, is that the right word? Is that, is that an appropriate word for? Yeah, you can uh, commission. commission a, 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 I guess so, because you are going to have it designed. Okay, so moving on to our, our fun space theme. Um, this oh. is the first time I think I've ever featured something that's in the future, right? Because today in just under two hours, no, wait, wait, what time is that? 1030. Oh, this already happened. So it happened, yeah. Happen yet. Yeah, it already happened. Okay, not in the future. Go. So, still appropriate for today. Um, additional photos from and data from Webb's amazing technology are being released to us. So it's my understanding. I'm going to move up. Let's see. It's my understanding that um, all of the the little blurs that you see there are galaxies. Um, and the ones that don't have a little point on them, and even some of the ones that do just because of the, 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 the way the light is reflected in the image, um, they're all galaxies except for the ones with points, which, okay. are, which are stars. Yeah. Um, and so 
it's like if you put a grain of sand on the tip of your finger and reach your finger away from you. So will you guys just humor me and I'll do this with me. Okay. Like just take your finger and reach it <sighs> over there. Now imagine that there's a piece of sand on the tip of your finger. Mm -hmm. Okay. So everything that's contained in this image is like the size of that piece of sand re mm. re relative to everything else in in the the known universe well that's because it's distant right it's just the small because it's far away small yeah. because far away and yeah. just it look, it's, that's how vast the yes, the world yes, is yes, yes, yeah yes, yeah in yes. relation yeah. um which you know i saw someone had um I saw a quote, someone said, you know what, when someone gets my order wrong at Starbucks, it's just really not that big of a deal because of this, right? <laughs> <laughs> let's just remember, let's have a little perspective, shall we? Um, pretty amazing. So all of those uh, additional images are going to be coming out. So I've got a link to that and a link to the NASA TV um, site for all of you as well. And that's where we stop with our slides. While we're here, I want to, nope, don't look at my 80,000 emails. Um, I'm not joking. You need some help going through Let's, those, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, uh, man, we might have to spend all of 2023 doing that. <laughs> so, okay, guys, if you want to, Martha, is there a way to pause the recording so that folks' email addresses are not being recorded as they tell them to me? Um, I can edit it. Would we have to? Are you sure? Edit. We could do it at the end. Okay. Okay. Either way. Okay. Well, which one? <laughs> uh, I can do it at the end. Do it at the end. Do it at the end. Okay. okay. Do it at the end. That way we know it's off. Yeah. I'm with you. And I have All an right. alarm set now, for two minutes to an hour, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to join from my other device really quick. It might make a little weird sound. Okay. Yay. That's like the fastest I've ever done that, right? <laughs> okay. I'm going to share my screen again. And, yep. It's nice that you have your I've daughter's confidence behind you. Oh, I do, don't I? The, yeah. the piece of art that makes me look good as a mom. It, it does. Yay, I'm, I'm momming so well. <laughs> <laughs> so let's um, let's work on some logic here uh, with our space theme. So there's only four hints. I don't know if we can finish it in five minutes, but we're going to do our best. And then you know what? I, I have the email addresses of the folks who are here today. So I'm just going to send that email. We don't need to. To do that. So Phil and Paulette, if you're able to stay and we can finish this, let's do it. So a number of space probes were launched this year, each from a different country. <laughs> Using only the clues that follow, determine the month each launched and its eventual destination. So we have to use process of elimination in order to figure out mm -hmm which probe was launched when and from where. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know Martha. So here's the thing. If we're gonna eat the elephant, we gotta do it one bite at a time. So we we'll start with time. number one. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oh. Trying to get my... Oh. 
Are y'all okay? Yeah. No, it's well, it's, it's yeah, we're good. It was blurry. It's blurry. It is yeah. okay. Blurry. I'm just switching you over to my earbuds so that you don't hear all that noise from across the street. Okay. We don't hear it anyway. No, we don't. Oh, good. Okay, excellent. It, I'm surprised because it's terribly loud. Okay. <laughs> um, so number one, how do we even say that? There's our first hurdle. How about Loa Cook? Loa Cook. Loa Cook. Loa Cook. Yeah. Loa Cook launched in April. Oh, well, thank goodness they gave us one. So we go to the, the point where it's April and that yep. means Loa Cook. Yep. Yep. Bingo. And we double tap it to turn it green. Right. And then it makes all the other ones that conflict with that turn red. Yeah. So now number two, Lensel launched two months after the mission going to Titan. So what does that tell us about Titan? Um. Well, it's only it's, it can't be it can't be uh, April since it's already uh, marked off. But the only way it could be the only way it could be two months after anything would be if if it was. Uh, the mission going to Titan was launched in, in, in January, then it could be, uh, Luntzel could be launched in launch in, in March. Two, Two months after. Right, it couldn't, it couldn't be um, the earliest date yeah. or even the second earliest date, could it? So it, Titan has to be January and Luntzel yeah. has to be March. Yes. Is that what you're saying, Don? That's what I was saying. Yeah. Okay. Two months. Does Titan have to be January? Well, you know, if you're talking about two months, January would be when it launched. February is one month. March would be the second month. That's the only combination that works. Because April's already taken. Not April's already taken, yeah. That's exactly right. All right. Go, Don. We're going to get through this so fast. Ooh. March, yay, January. And then you can also January, mark, yeah. uh, well, we don't know, uh, we don't know which, which one went to Titan yet. No, we don't know which one went to Titan yet. Right, so we don't know. Okay, let's move to number three then. Come here, sweetheart. The Lua Cook is either the probe that launched in March or, well, wait a minute. Lua Cook is well, we Mars. We know it's got to be we going. We know Lua Cook marched in, or launched in April, right? right? Right. And so the process of elimination here tells us, it, because we already know it's April. Right, so it, so Lil Cook was going to Mars. Mm, not going to Mars? Yes. Oh, it is going to Mars, got it. Yay. Which also means that Mars happened in April, right? Yes. Okay, yes. Woo. see it's happening so fast. Okay, it's eleven. Do you guys want to keep keep going? No, we've we've got to go. We got to go. You guys can finish. I understand. It. Bye, couple. Bye bye. Bye bye. We'll figure out a time for you guys to do this. All okay, right. Great. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, you guys. Have a good day. <laughs> What's that, Martha? I said poof, and they're gone. Poof, they're gone. Are Phil and Paulette still here? Oh no. Yes. We're still here, but I don't and know. And Nancy's what still do. here too. <laughs> I had to take my hat off because the anyone. bird would come close to me. Gallery. Sorry about that. There we go. All right. So number four, the Ryukan is going to Europa. All right, well, that is a 
very clear answer. So right can we double tap and make that green mm. in that part? Yeah, that's satisfying, right? To get all those <laughs> X's. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if it's not going to Europa, or if it is going to Europa, it's not going any of those other places. That's how we get those X's. Tell so, me, are there more tips? Or is four all there is? This is where it gets a little challenging, right? This is where we have to look underneath basically all these different clues. So if we go back through them. Oh. Well, we've, already like got the, we've already got the answer to number three. Did we? It's going, Loa Cuck is going to Mars because it didn't launch in yes. March. Europa. Right. Did I not? Yeah. Loa Cuck, Mars. Yeah, we have that one. Um, Lenzel launched two months after the mission going to Titan. We got that one. But we don't know. Oh, so that tells us that Lenzel and Titan are not the same. So we can X out where we have the, the shared space with Lenzel and Titan, right? And the only one remaining, if you look at the bottom grid, the very first column. Ganymede and Are Titan. You, Ganymede, it has to be Ganymede, doesn't it? Because we know that Lenzel launched after Titan, so it's not Titan, right? So if ah. we put our X at Titan, the only thing left is Ganymede, right? Yes. Yay, okay. And then that tells us something uh, about this top right section, doesn't it? Because we've got something that needs to be eliminated for Ganymede over here. And so the top right section, we've got to figure out, is Ganymede February or March? Well, look at number three. Loa Cook is either the probe that launched in March or the mission going to Mars. So there's, so Loa Cook is not March. Correct. We just don't know if but, it's Europa or Germany. Yes. Ooh. Exactly. I know. Let's see. And we don't have any more clues other than these four? We don't. We are, we have every bit of information we need. Um, if we... It's one of those things we just have to keep looking at it from a different angle, right? Like like the telescope, <laughs> look at it, turn it a different direction, look at it again. So number one, we don't have to mess with that one anymore, right? And you know what, look, do we have a spot where we haven't filled it in yet? Look at our bottom grid. The Titan and Vero. Yeah, we needed that. Oof. So if Titan and Vero are the same, then January and Vero have to be the same because we know Titan happened in January, right? If we trust oh, our yes. work, if we trust our work, we know Titan happened in January. So we can draw the reasonable conclusion that Titan 
Varo January is correct. <laughs> that leaves us with. I love it. <laughs> if our work ah. so far is correct, yes. February is Ryukan. Is that how you say it? <laughs> That's what we're calling it. Yes, you guys, we did it. Yay. In purple. Congratulations, you solved the puzzle without hints. Yay. Oh man, Don and Myra, were, they were so close, but I get it when you, you know what? That's how you're on time to places. Yes. So we don't <laughs> have to- you, sir. So we don't have to fill no, in- No, we don't. That last four squares. We don't. We could, if we want to, because we know that, let's see. Oh. Well, I don't know if it'll, it won't even let us um, because we did it, we solved it. Yep, it says congratulations, you solved the puzzle. Yep. <laughs> I feel pretty good about it. Did anybody else feel like they chased their tail for several minutes? <laughs> Yay team. This one Yay, didn't seem too. so difficult. The first one you ever gave us was really a mind bender. Martha, I think that has something to do with the fact that your brain um, is is so um, so good at remembering that pathway, you know, that it the first few times you do one of these puzzles, they are just ridiculously challenging. Mm -hmm. But every time they get, it's like, it's like taking away a grain of sand <laughs> and eventually you've taken away the beach, right? Yeah. Um, little bits at a time, they get, they get easier. I feel more and confident because of you. <laughs> it's because of you. <laughs> it's not me. Um, Martha, where's your hat? Well, the bird wouldn't come back to me when I had the hat on. He oh. was up on top of the bookcase, pacing back and forth. <laughs> he, he said, you look like a scarecrow, mom. Don't wear uh -huh. that hat. Yes. And when I took the hat <laughs> off, he came back. He was afraid of it. <laughs> and he just Aww. said, uh-huh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I like Nancy's sun hat. I've got one of those upstairs. Oh, she's got the visor kind of like that. Yeah. Nancy, are you taking that hat to California? Are you taking that hat to California? Oh, wait, Nancy, I don't think we can hear you. You could give us a thumbs up if you're taking your hat to California. <laughs> <laughs> give us a sign. She's leaving this week and won't be back for three weeks. Oh, we'll miss you. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. So this is, is this our last time with you before you go? Yeah. Well, I'm glad we got to see you today. Yes. Definitely. Have a great birthday. Well, Je Jeopardy's on at 1.30. Yes. Oh, oh, Jeopardy's on at 1.30. Oh, Jeopardy at 1.30. <laughs> here, here, we're going to play. <laughs> Jeopardy yes. 30, that's right. Martha Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends. Well, thank you for joining today. It was really fun. And I hope you'll have a great rest of your day. And um, Nancy, I do hope you have a really good trip. Thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's right. Well, since she mentioned Jeopardy, let's take a look at what's coming up. Here we have Fit Wits at 10.30 and 11.30 with Miss Emily. At 1.30 today, we do have Jeopardy. And on Wednesday, we have Peggy Spear with Hotels at 10.30 from the museum. And 11.30, we have Where in the World is Heather tomorrow. And at 1.30 tomorrow, Nia, Emily's back. I just love it that you're with us, Miss Emily. Me too. Yeah, and I'm looking, forward to you, I'm looking forward to you hosting next week. Yes, yes, on Tuesday, right? The 19th, yes. 
Yeah, I'll be hosting all day Tuesday, each of the programs, and that'll be fun. Yes, it I'll is. be wearing all my hats. Right. Juggling, <laughs> juggling, wearing hats at the juggling. same time. Circus sideshow style. Yeah. Yes, that's right. <laughs> well, everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thanks, Martha. Bye, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Take care of each other. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Martha. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.